So in this video, we'll be talking about Taurus moon in the sixth house natally. So if you have this placement, then you're in the right place. And we're just going to start by covering what the moon means in a general sense. So the moon rules the fourth house in astrology, and it indicates one's emotional nature and also what gives the individual security, comfort, um, and stability. And it's also something that we use as a resource um, in our lives in order to solve problems. The fourth house in astrology comes after the third house. And um, it's about intuition. It's about coming to conclusions or finding answers. Because the third house is ruled by Mercury and it's about the mind. It's about the thought process and thinking. So um, naturally, the next step is when you get the conclusion or the intuition. Every time you find an answer, it's really just intuitive. Um, and that's all what the fourth house is about and the moon is about as well. Um, so it's how we solve problems. And also it's a resource we use. And ultimately, it's something that gives us comfort. So it's our way of approaching things that allows us to solve issues. Um, now, in this case, it is in the sixth house and in Taurus. The sixth house is about routine. It's about health, habits, and repetition. It's about mundane life. So recurring actions. So in a very simple way, people that have the moon in the sixth house get a lot of comfort from having the stability that comes from a routine or from a predictable lifestyle and from predictable factors, if that makes any sense. Now, with the moon in Taurus, and Taurus being the sign of resources, practicality, and objectiveness, um, you guys are individuals that like to plan things out and you guys like to solve things in a resourceful manner or in a realistic manner. So you guys will use what is at your disposal in order to realistically and tangibly solve problems. So a lot of times, like I said, that takes the form of planning. Um, and you guys are able to step your way up in the ladder of life. No matter which level that you find yourself on, um, you, you have the capacity to gather your cards or gather your pieces, your chips, and strategize. Now, with the moon being in the sixth house and Taurus, this indicates that you use small factors as variables in your decision making and in the way that you solve problems. So you like to look at the nitty gritty, the small pieces of what may be the solution to what it is that you're trying to accomplish. That's how you uh, go about solving problems and go about life. Like you consider every little piece, every little variable. And also you're a patient individual. You would rather um, invest into something in small pieces over time and, and cumulatively accomplish something than to rush and try to fix everything at once. So you're the type of person that could like, um, like, uh, what's the word? Cumulatively save up for something over like long periods of time and then buy something that's way out of your normal, um, your normal budget or like your normal, uh, living situation. I don't know what the word is for that when like things are outside of the price than, than what somebody's living situation is. Um, but like you're the type of person that can get like high ticket items because you're strategic and you, you use small pieces and you use repetitive styles of practicality because that's how your moon is. Your moon shows how your resources that you use and like in the sixth house, it's about repetition or small details, small wins. So this placement is very interesting, and the natural sign that has the sixth house in Taurus is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the sign of 
expansion, luck, blessings. And it's almost also about winning the lottery in a sense. It's about being lucky and it's about gambling, um, the sign of uh, Sagittarius. But what it shows us with the sixth house in Taurus is that in order to win at something or to be quote unquote very lucky, your chances are improved when you make small little um, investments over time or you you risk small amounts every time um, over time. In that case, that will create massive luck. That's what Sagittarius and having sixth house in Taurus means. Um, so you guys naturally understand that if you guys invest small amounts of energy into something over time, then you will appear extremely lucky to others in the way that the outcome will be because the outcome would be much greater. And you, most people don't have the patience or the self-control in order to calculate and restrain their, um, I'm just going to say investments, whether that's energy, time, money. Um, but you guys think about those things. You guys notice when there's a small detail or like a small opportunity and you guys make a bunch of small wins over and over and over and over. And all that adds up to a big outcome. And Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. And it's about excess. It's about huge amounts of wealth. It's about um, luck, like hitting the lottery. So it's the same thing with investing and when it comes to speculation, which is when people invest into things that are risky in order to hopefully hit the lottery in some sense. But it's it's a huge chance of also loss. So the the correct way to do those kind of things is to put small amounts into what it is that you are speculating in order to... Um, be able to handle the losses, but also if you do that repeatedly over time with multiple different speculations, eventually one of them is going to carry a huge reward that outweighs all the small losses. Um, and, and that's the correct way to gamble, you know? And, and that's what Sagittarius having the sixth house in Taurus is about. Small investments. And also... Um, on a side note, this placement of the moon being in the sixth house in Taurus indicates that what gives you comfort, security, and emotional well-being is when things are organized, um, especially your possessions, especially your finances and your resources. And you like things to make sense because when the moon is in the sixth house, it's in the third house from the fourth house. So it's in the third house from its own house and the third influence or the third house is about intellect and sense and it's about things adding up it's about calculations so part of what gives you security is for things to make sense to you maybe it may not make sense to somebody else but as long as you have the thought process behind something and you can understand why things are organized the way that they are it gives you comfort but when things are in the wrong place it will tend to like cause emotional distress or will cause you to get a little bit anxious or uh, twitchy or like nervous or uncomfortable. Um, so you're very particular in the way that you organize your stuff and it gives you comfort. Now as well, um, you use your routine as a variable or as a resource when it comes to doing things. So you leverage your routine in order to accomplish goals. And sometimes you're able to step out of your routine in order to do something that may be more lucrative for the time being. So like that's a factor of this placement because again, the ascendant, the sign that has the sixth house in Taurus is Sagittarius. So um, that, that sign is about travel. And so this uh, placement indicates that you're able to travel out of your comfort zone from time to time when you notice that the outcome will be more efficient or more effective. 
And um, ultimately, though, you like to return to your normal routine or your normal comfort zone or what works. But you're able to adapt. You're quite uh, adaptable, um, if that makes any sense. So you, can, you, you love your routine, but you're able to switch it or alter it circumstantially when there is a more um, objectively practical approach to things. So anyways, um, I hope that wasn't too scattered. But if you enjoyed this video and you saw yourself in any way, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I think I've covered what I wanted to for this placement. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I appreciate you guys supporting the channel in any way that you do um, and watching this video. Um, other than that, I will see you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.